hi guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be showing you how i make this delicious vegetarian burger so stay tuned so here i have my seasonings that i'll be using i'll be using some bell pepper tomato onion garlic and scotch bonnet here i already diced my seasonings that i'll be using and here are my cooked beans i'm using black beans and also red kidney beans and some oats okay so now to the food processor i'm going to be adding in my beans i will list the full ingredients below so this is one cup of black beans one and a half cup of red kidney beans and one and a half cup of oats okay and if you don't have a food processor you can always use your blender to mix everything up okay so here are my seasoning that i'll be adding in i'm going to be adding in a tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning And I'll also be adding in a tablespoon of my Badea Complete Seasoning. You can always use your preferred seasoning, okay? Just use whatever is to your liking. I'm also adding in one teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm going to be using a tablespoon and a half of my soy sauce. I'm also adding in about a tablespoon and a half of my maple syrup. You can use honey or whatever sweetener you have on hand. So now I'm just going to be pulsing this for at least 20 seconds or so. So here I'm adding in a little more oats because it was a little bit too soft for my liking. So I'm adding a little bit of oats. And now we're just gonna move on to another step here. I'm going to be sauteing my vegetables. Okay, so here I'm adding in my onion, garlic, and bell pepper, okay? So I'm just going to be sauteing these for at least 30 seconds. Once they become translucent, then we're going to add them to the mix. Sorry. And here I'm just adding in a little bit of my seasoning because we're trying to ensure that everything is tasty. So I always add a little bit of my seasonings to my vegetables once I'm salting them, okay? So once it's done, I'm just adding it to my mixture here because we're going to be pulsing it again for at least 10 seconds. So this is how the mixture is looking guys once everything is nicely incorporated so now i'm just going to be rolling the burgers so you can use a scoop if you want but i'm using a spoon so once i have my desired portion i just roll them into a ball like this okay so here they are once i've rolled everything and now we're going to be moving on to the next step so in my same pan that I used to saute my seasonings, I'm just going to be adding in the burgers for at least four minutes. I'm going to be frying them for two minutes on each side.
so once they're looking golden brown like this and it's been about four minutes so i'm just going to be removing them from the pan and repeat the process until they're all done because these burgers are really delicious and they're very easy to make guys so i hope you will give this recipe a try and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel So this is how they're looking so far guys they are so beautiful and they smell really delicious i know they taste the same as well so now we're going to be moving on to assembling the burger okay so to my burger buns i did add some garlic butter and toast them for a bit this was optional so if you don't like garlic butter you can omit this part and here I'm adding in some of my dressing to the burger buns and I'm just going to be adding the rest of the ingredients. So here it is guys all done trust me they were delicious so you really want to give this recipe a try thank you so much for watching remember to share and subscribe bye